previous video I showed uh, the tachometer that I installed on my lathe. Um, on the front panel. Just a cheap eBay thing. And a viewer Hank US253 asked uh, to me asked me to make a video on how I mounted the sensor and the magnet. So um, on the gear change box, let me just move around to the back side of the lathe here. That's the sensor, and when, when the machine is on, uh, whoop, I've already taken the screws out. Uh, the red light comes on to let you know that there's power to the unit. Uh, uh, I don't believe it blinks when it's running. Let's check. Yeah, it doesn't blink when it's running. Oh, it does a little bit. I don't know if you can see that in the video, but it does flicker. So I just drilled a hole through the plastic and mounted that in. I'll take this off and show you. So it's just mounted right there. And the magnet, I didn't use the magnet that was included because it was uh, it was really uh, a lot shorter and weaker um, than I had expected it to be. So I just used this, it's just a neodymium quarter inch magnet. Oops. And I didn't even glue it on. It's just stuck on by its own magnetic power right to the spindle there. And yeah, it hasn't budged at all. Works great. Um, I passed the wire uh, down through there. Okay, so normally there's um, there's a cover, a plexiglass cover that goes over the chuck about here where my hand is. Um, I have removed that because I've got a five inch chuck, and the plexiglass cover would interfere with the with the chuck's rotation. And attached to that cover on the back side here is normally a switch focus there we go uh, a switch that lets the lathe know when that cover is down and uh, it's basically a safety interlock I have run the wire for the sensor down in there and you can't see it because it's behind the this plastic cover but there's a hole that goes through the headstock and into the electronics box and inside there I have the electronics for the sensor and actually just a 12 volt adapter to power everything. Um, I didn't want to uh, bother messing around with finding a 12 volt uh, voltage line in the electronics, even if there was one, I'm not sure. So I just crammed a little 12 volt wall ward in there. Um, it doesn't have to be a lot of power. I think the one I used was 250 milliamps or something, which is way more than you would ever need because all it does is display some numbers and it's a small sensor so you know there's not a lot of power but uh, that's how it's done if you have any more questions uh, feel free to uh, let me know either in a comment or um, uh, or a private message and I'll try and answer them thanks for watching